So hi everyone and very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of government schemes. In today's session guys we are going to talk about a very important scheme from the Ministry of Rural Development. Yes, the Ministry of Rural Development because from today we are going to start the schemes from the Ministry of Rural Development, right? And the very first scheme which is the most important scheme of the Ministry of Rural Development that we are going to cover today is Manrega. That's Bhatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. Manrega is an act and under that act, this scheme is being implemented, right? So I hope you have heard this act ke mein bhi suna hi hoga. So let's start discussing this scheme. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And if you want to have the all-round preparation, you can, uh, you can download the Anujindala app from the Google Play Store. All right. So let's move ahead and let's talk about this particular scheme, which is uh, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. So first of all, if I talk about the objective and the ministry, so that is very easy to determine. I always say that his name is hidden in his name. So what is the objective? For objective, ke liye, Mahatma Gandhi, we all know is Mahatma Gandhi, national to hata do and scheme bhi hata do. Remove the scheme, national and Mahatma Gandhi words. So you are left with these three keywords that is Rural Employment and Guarantee, which means government is providing guaranteed rural employment under this scheme. Now, what type of rural employment is this? Remember, this is a manual. This is a manual unskilled work, right? This is a manual unskilled work, which is provided under this particular scheme by the Ministry of Rural Development. All right. So that is the objective. Now, how many days of work is provided? So it is very easy. 100 days of work is provided 100 days of work is provided to the uh, to the you know rural households okay or your work as out there it is manual unskilled work for skilled work government are, government uh, has uh, other various uh, government schemes so give all these schema is can there cable unskilled work provide garage out there to the beneficiary right so that is the objective of the scheme I hope the objective is clear the objective is to enhance livelihood in rural areas by providing 100 days of employment Right, 100 days of employment in every financial year to adult members, of course, adult koi diya jayega, to adult members of any rural household who is willing to do, who is willing to do, right, any public related unskilled manual work at the statutory minimum wage. All right, so that is the objective and ministry, of course, guys, is Ministry of Rural Development and this act, this act, MG Narega. MG Narega was enacted in the year 2005 and after that this scheme was notified all right so do remember when was this act notified so it was enacted in the year 2005 all right I hope the objective launch here and the ministry is clear and now let's move ahead to the most important features from this scheme right so first of all where you have to apply if you want to have work under Manrega, then you have to apply karna hai. So any adult member of a rural household who is willing to do any manual unskilled work will have to apply for registration to the local gram panchayat. Jahan pe bhi aapki local gram panchayat hogi. And of course, in rural areas ke liye hai, to yahan pe urban ki koi baati hum nahi karenge. So local gram panchayat mein application aapko file karni hai. Then the gram panchayat after due verification, after verifying all the details of the beneficiary, will issue a job card within 15 days of application. Let's say I have filed an application today uh, and let's say today is 1st of July. Right? So within 15 days, yani ki agle, uh, 15th July tak, jo, uh, mere ko jo work hai, wo mil jaye. Right? So employment will be given within 15 days of application for work. Agar nahi diya jata hai employment within 15 days of work, then in that case, daily unemployment allowance is being provided. Right? If the employment is not given within the 15 days of application then in that case daily unemployment allowance is provided under the scheme all right and of course the work should ordinarily be provided within 5 kilometer radius of the village 5 kilometer radius of the village can under kaam diya jata hai but if not then in that case 10 percent of the wage rate extra is provided to the beneficiary right to maal lete ki agar 200 rupay ka wage rate hai or 5 kilometer radius se bahar kaam diya gaya. If the work is assigned outside the radius of 5 kilometer from the village, then in that case 10 percent, that is 20 rupees extra will be provided to the beneficiary. All right. 
moving ahead to some more important features wage wages are to be paid according to the minimum wages act of 1948 do you remember this act for agricultural laborers in the state whatever provisions are there with respect to the minimum wages under this act according to those provisions the wages are being given under this scheme all right and at least one third beneficiary shall be women under this scheme theek hai is scheme ke jitne bhi total beneficiaries honge usme se one third mahilaye hongi all right and work site facilities such as crate drinking water shade have to be provided for the beneficiaries and this is for securing the proper working conditions for the laborers and at least 50% of works will be allotted to gram panchayat for execution gram panchayat ko 50% work diya jata hai ki aapki responsibility hai ki aap ye kaam pura karwayenge all right moving ahead now this is very important the central government bears 100% wage cost 100% wage cost of unskilled manual labor and 75% of the material cost all right do you remember this please don't get confused 100% wage cost of unskilled manual labor and 75% of the material cost including the wages of skilled and semi skilled workers all right and social audit has to be done by the gram sabha now ab dekho social audit hota hai ye bahut aam si baat hai but who has the responsibility to conduct this social audit so that's gram sabha do you remember this all right and wage rates are notified by the central government and there is no role of the respective state governments in notifying or identifying the wage rates right so that is the sole responsibility of central government only and finally in drought hit areas 150 days of employment is provided drought hit ya fir any other area which is hit by any other natural calamity so in that area 150 days of work may be provided theek hai if decided by the central government all right so these are some of the important features of this scheme i hope this is clear so before moving ahead to the wage rate revision of this financial year let's revise it once again to itna hi padhna hai is scheme mein zyada padhne ki zarurat nahi hai isse bahar nahi aayega right so the objective of this scheme is to enhance livelihood of the rural uh, households by providing them with unskilled manual worker and of course the work is provided to the adult member of the rural household who is willing to do that work it was launched in the year 2005 by ministry of rural development and this ministry is headed by mr giriraj singh giriraj singh is the minister of rural development and he is also the minister of panchayati raj his lok sabha constituency is begusarai which is of course in bihar right moving ahead so you have to file the application at the gram panchayat within 15 days of uh, your application you will get the work the beneficiary will get the work and if not the unemployment allowance is provided the work is provided within 5 km radius of the village if not 10% extra wage is provided right wages are to be paid according to minimum wages act of 1948 at least one third beneficiary shall be women work site facilities like drinking water shade scratch facility etc are to be provided under the provisions of this act central government bears 100% wage cost of the uh, unskilled manual worker while 75% of the material cost social audit has to be done by gram sabha wage rates are notified by the central government and in any area which is hit by any natural calamity like drought or flood 150 days of employment may be provided right it is not sure ki provide karaya hi jayega it may be provided theek hai that is on the discretion of the government and now <clears throat> moving ahead to the wage rates revision for the year for the financial year 2023 so abhi abhi humne discuss kiya that the wage notification responsibility lies with the central government and there is no role of the respective state governments or ut in this right so first of all for for this financial year total budgetary outlay was how much is how much rupees 73000 crore theek hai kitna hai total outlay 73000 crore hai and these are some of the important facts from the wage revision for this financial year number 1 as per the revised wages 21 out of 34 states and uts 21 out of 34 states and uts are getting less than 5% increase and only 10 states are there which are getting five more than 5% hike right so 21 out of 31 34 states aise hai jinhe less than 5% increase mila hai aur 10 states aise hai which are getting more than 5% hike aur jo bach gaye wo dono mein se kisi category mein nahi aate maximum increase goa ka hai that is 7.14% 
इट वॉज टू नाइनटी फोर पर डे एंड नाउ इट इज थ्री वन फाइव पर डे ठीक है इन द प्रीवियस फाइनेंशियल ईयर इट वॉज टू नाइन फोर एंड नाउ इन दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर फ्रॉम दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर इट विल बी थ्री वन फाइव राइट लोएस्ट इंक्रीज इज इन मेघालय दैट इज वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन परसेंट इट वॉज टू टू सिक्स इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड नाउ इट इज टू थर्टी पर डे इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड देर आर थ्री स्टेट्स देर आर थ्री स्टेट्स जिनके लिए कोई इंक्रीमेंट नहीं हुआ है विच आर मणिपुर मिजोरम एंड त्रिपुरा यू रिमेंबर दिस मणिपुर मिजोरम एंड त्रिपुरा आर द थ्री स्टेट्स फॉर विच देर इज नो इंक्रीमेंट एट ऑल सो दैट इज वाई वो इन दोनों कैटेगरी में से है ही नहीं किसी में राइट तो ट्वेंटी वन एंड टेन थर्टी वन एंड थ्री थर्टी फोर राइट मूविंग अहेड नाउ आफ्टर दिस रिविजन ऑफ वेजेस फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री विच स्टेट हैव दी हाइएस्ट वेज रेट सो हरियाणा हैज दी हाइएस्ट दीज आर दी टॉप फाइव एक्चुअली हरियाणा हैज दी हाइएस्ट रुपीज थ्री थ्री वन तो सिर्फ हाइएस्ट का याद रखो दैट इज इनफ फॉलोड बाय गोवा केरला कर्नाटका एंड अंडमान एंड निकोबार आईलैंड टॉकिंग अबाउट दी लोएस्ट वन सो दी लोएस्ट इज ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश ठीक है उसके मध्य प्रदेश एंड छत्तीसगढ़ टुगेदर बोथ है टू जीरो फोर छत्तीसगढ़ और मध्य प्रदेश दोनों का ही कितना है टू जीरो फोर है फिर उसके बाद झारखंड टू वन टेन बिहार टू वन टेन एंड त्रिपुरा टू वन टू तो दीज आर दी फाइव लोएस्ट एंड दीज आर दी फाइव हाइएस्ट और राइट एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दिस फैक्ट दैट वेज इज आर रिवाइज इन अकॉर्डेंस इन अकॉर्डिंग विद द प्रोविजन ऑफ सेक्शन सिक्स वन ऑफ मनरेगा ठीक है जो नरेगा एक्ट है मनरेगा एक्ट है उसके सेक्शन सिक्स वन के हिसाब से इसका रिविजन किया जाता है एंड द वेज रेट्स आर आल्सो डिसाइडेड बेस्ड ऑन द चेंजेस इन सीपीआई एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा फ्रॉम द सीपीआई एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर फ्रॉम द रिस्पेक्टिव स्टेट्स एंड देन द वेज रेट इज डिसाइडेड ऑल राइट सो दैट्स इट अबाउट द स्कीम गाइज आई होप द स्कीम इज क्लियर एंड नाउ लेट्स डू दिस वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द स्कीम आज मैंने सिर्फ एक बेसिक क्वेश्चन रखा है तो कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू revised wages under manrega and identify the correct statement all right goa has the maximum increase in wage rate this is absolutely correct but 7.14% and in goa it is currently 315 rupees per day among all the states and uts goa has the highest wage rate per month so that's not goa that's haryana yes the highest increase is in goa but goa uh, does not have the highest wage rate right so that's haryana with rupees 331 per month theek okay? hai and this statement is incorrect therefore and among all the states in ut madhya pradesh has the lowest wage rate bilkul sahi baat hai right agar yahan pe chatisgarh bhi aa jayega to bhi sahi hoga wo right so one and three should be the correct answer option c because you have to identify the correct statement all right okay so that's it for the session and if you want to enroll in the live class courses you can visit anujindal.in i will see you tomorrow in the session of ard current affairs and on wednesday we will discuss another scheme from the ministry of rural development all right so thank you so much for watching guys goodbye take care and god bless